he didn't touch it. <laughs> he didn't touch it. And he knew he didn't touch it. He knew it. He knew it. But it's Christian. Like, look, guys, we know him well enough to know that that's what he'll try to do. He tried to claim it. He didn't touch it. People say, oh, his hair, he didn't touch it. And it's actually confirmed that Bruno Fernandes did his thing. Um, you, Winning a World Cup isn't about looking good or being attractive or playing great football. I didn't know with the best team in 06. They didn't win it. So sorry. I didn't know with the most attractive team in 06. They didn't win it. Germany with the most attractive team in 2010. They didn't win, win it. It's the team that says what's up. People, people might argue that the Belgium were probably like the most attractive, played the best football in 2018. They didn't win it. It's about good. Getting it done. So people that say that Portugal, oh, they can't win it. They're unremarkable and everything. How remarkable were France? How remarkable were... And well, France in 2018. How remarkable were Spain in um, 2010? It's just about getting it done. <laughs> okay, it's not how you win it. It's about winning it. And let's bring Bruno Fernandes, a guy who was abused and have insulted. He's saying, what's up? I think, did he have two assists in the first game? He definitely had one of the assists in the first game against Ghana. He got the, he got the first goal. And here's the key thing. He won the penalty because he did a colonial boy, handballed it. It was a handball, and he scored the penalty. So, see, for me, I give you that penalty because it's like he really won that through a piece of skill it was through a piece of quality skill forcing him into it to mistake and you scored the penalty so you won the penalty scored the penalty so that so two full legitimate goals he has shown up at this world cup he has shown up at this world cup with two big time performances both in terms of creativity and, and, and goal scoring and my thing about this Portugal side is look man the, it's like the, it's not, this world cup is so open Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. It, it, it like with Portugal, it doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look like it's not Joker Bonito, but it's effective. It's about being effective. Uruguay actually were really good in the second half, and I think uh, first half was very iffy, bitty. There was a lot of um, physicality and fighting, but in the second half, when they were when they were a goal down, they actually looked pretty good. Ben, I, I see. For me, even if Bruno Fernandes deserves to be man of the match in terms of. Um, what he did for the goals and so forth. I think the best player on the pitch for the ninth minutes was Benton Cole. Benton Cole performed the best, and he could have scored one of the goals of the tournament if he had beat the guy one v one in that um, first half. But Benton Cole was amazing. Ayurgo had amazing chances. Cannibal had a, a a close chance. There was another guy. I don't know what his name is. He, he hit the post. Uruguay came close. So and for Portugal, look man, they held firm. The boys held firm. So look man and. Um, is there's still a long way to, to, to go, but I think for Portugal now you can see that they've won the, the group, and most likely they're going to face either Morocco or Belgium in the next round. You know, and the way the Belgium are operating, it's most likely going to be Morocco. So there is a path for Portugal. A path is there for, for Portugal, and I told you he couldn't do it again for me. As I said again, he's one of my favorite players of all time. I think this guy is the best winger of all time. You know, so but. As much as as amazing as he is, as talented as this is today, he never said what's up at the World Cup, and he disappointed at the World Cup and at the Euros. So Portugal, you can, there's a chance to make history because I I've seen in Brazil, I've even seen France. I guess France, 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 France. Anybody's beatable because it's about getting it done and it's about getting. And I think what the squad of Portugal have, they have a blend of experience and youth. And guys at the peak to come together to be able to be effective. It's just about making the right changes and for them to execute their game plan. It can be it can be done for this Portuguese dude. But for Bruno Fernandes, hates all he wants. He's shown up, give him his love. And for Uruguay, it's now all about that final game against Ghana. Because if they beat Ghana, they can go through. So it's all down to that final game, which is going to be crazy fireworks, man. Hit the subscribe button over there, guys. And I'll see you guys tonight here for the live um, World Cup Roundup show. Peace out, love.